Hello students. Today we are going to start with the second chapter of your textbook. The topic of the chapter is operations and Venn diagrams. You must have already completed the first chapter of this unit. The answer key to those two exercises are provided in the PDF file attached with today's assignment. Kindly cross check your answers and if you have any query or doubt related to any of the questions, do discuss it in the Google Classroom created for class 8. And I believe you all must have already joined it. For those of you who are still not connected in the classroom, I am giving another step by step explanation in the attached PDF file so that you actually get it working in your devices. So join us on the Google Classroom application also. To start with the topic, operations on set. The first operation that we are going to discuss is the union of two sets. Now when we talk about union of two sets, we are actually going to talk about a set which is going to contain all the elements of the two set. Let's take an example. A set A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B is equal to 2, 7. Now if I am going to talk about the union of these two sets given, I am going to include each and every element of these two sets without any repetition. Therefore, A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Because 2 was repeated in the two sets, that's why it is written only once. The next operation is intersection of two sets. Intersection will be a set containing only the common elements of the given two sets. And the representation is given on the slide. So let us take the same two sets. A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equal to 2, 7. In these two sets, the only thing common is 2. Therefore, A intersection B will be equal to 2. The third operation is the difference of the two sets. Let's take A and B as the two sets. Then the difference of A and B will be the set which contains all the elements of A which are not there in the set B. The representation is shown here. Let's take the same two sets, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equal to 2, 7. Then A minus B will be equal to 1, 3, 4. You need to observe that though 2 is the element of A but still it is not included in A minus B. Why so? Because it is there in set B. Similarly, B minus A will be equal to 7. 2 is not mentioned here because 2 is there in A. So all the elements of B which are not there in A. Therefore, B minus A is equal to 7. Next operation is complement of a set. If U is the universal set in a given problem and we are going to talk about any set A in the same problem, then the complement of this set A will be equal to the set which contains all the elements of universal set which are not present in set A. So if you are going to relate it with the previous topic that we discussed, that is the difference, here also it is a sort of difference set. How come? Because the complement of A is actually equal to U minus A. Again, complement of A is the set which contains all the elements of universal set which are not present in set A. Let us take an example for that. If U is a universal set equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and A is any set in the same problem equal to 2, 4. Then if I am going to talk about A complement, I am going to take all the elements of universal set which are not there in A. Therefore, A complement is equal to 1, 3. So therefore, we can relate it with U minus A. So A complement is nothing but U minus A. Similarly, if B is equal to 3, then B complement will be the set which contains all the elements of universal set which are not there in B. Therefore, B complement is equal to 1, 2, 4. The next topic is disjoint sets. Now the sets which do not have any common element among them, that is their intersection is an empty set, will be called disjoint sets. Let's take an example. A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and set B is equal to 5, 6, 7. If you see these sets, there is nothing common in the two sets. Therefore, A intersection B is an empty set and A and B here will be disjoint sets. Next term is overlapping sets. The sets which have at least one common element among them. That is, their intersection is not empty this time. So, let's take an example. Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B is equal to 2, 7. If you see these two sets, we have one element common that is 2. 
therefore a intersection b is not empty set this time a intersection b is equal to 2 these type of sets will be called overlapping sets in short we can say the sets which are not disjoint sets are surely overlapping sets after this explanation let us move ahead with the assignment remember you need to attempt this exercise in the same fair register in which you have completed chapter 1 of your textbook for those who have already purchased the textbook do go through the solved examples given before you attempt the exercise and for the rest of you I am hereby providing the image of the exercise to be done as your next assignment. So here is the exercise which you have to attempt in the fair register. This is exercise 2a. There are 5 questions in it and it has subsequent parts. Now let us start with the discussion of the questions from the exercise. Question number 1. A is equal to 3, 4, 5. B is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are the two sets already given in the question. First part is A union B. We need to find A union B, which is going to be all the elements taken from A and B. Therefore, the answer is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Second part, A intersection B. The thing common in the two sets is 5. Therefore, A intersection B is equal to 5. There are more parts in it, but I have taken only these two parts. There is a verification uh, part also in this question. So let us do few of the parts from verification. Now when I am talking about verification, remember for verifying a given statement, there will be left side and right side which uh, you have to compare. So whenever there is a verification question or a proving question, I recommend that you solve the individual sides first. That means left side and right side individually and then compare the result. Accordingly, you have to come up with your decision. So the thing which has to be verified is A union A is equal to A. Taking LHS, left hand side, A union A will be equal to the union of the elements of the set A. That is 3, 4, 5 union 3, 4, 5. Now because in a given set, we have to take the distinct elements, so no repetition will be allowed. And when we are going for union, all the elements are taken from both the sets. So both the sets are containing the same sort of elements. Therefore, A union A will be equal to 3, 4, 5. Taking RHS, right hand side, A is equal to 3, 4, 5. It is already given in the question. So now if I compare LHS and RHS, it happens to be equal. Therefore, this part is verified, hence proved. Let's take the F part of it where we have to prove, we have to verify that A intersection phi is equal to phi, that is empty set. We already know that phi is an empty set. Taking LHS now, A intersection phi will be 3, 4, 5 intersection with empty set. As there is nothing common in between these two sets, therefore the result will be an empty set. And on the right hand side, phi is already equal to empty set. So LHS is equal to RHS, hence proved. Moving on to question number 2 in which we have been given various sets. The universal set is given, then a set P is given, a set Q is given and similarly a set R is given. The first part that we have to find is the complement of P. Remember the complement of P will be all the elements of universal set which are not there in the set P. So I am going to pick all the elements of universal set which are not there in set P. So the result will be P complement is equal to 8, 10. Talking about the fourth part of it in which we have to find the difference of P and Q. Means we have to set the value of P minus Q. Now P minus Q set is going to contain all the elements of set P which are not there in Q. Hence P minus Q will be equal to 7, 9. The fifth part in the same question. We have to find the union of Q and R. That means all the elements of these two sets are going to be taken. So Q union R will be equal to 5, 6, 9, 10. The eighth part of the question is P minus Q intersection R. Now this is a different set but before we proceed further we are going to find the value of Q intersection R. That means the elements which are common in these two sets. The result comes Q intersection R is equal to 5. Now we are going to move ahead with the different set. P minus Q intersection R will be all the elements of set P which are not there in the set Q intersection R. So the result will be 6, 7, 9. 
next question is question number three in which the sets are given in set builder notation so first we are going to write them in the tabular form set a will be equal to r i c e set b will be equal to n i c e the first part is to find a union b so we are going to take all the elements from set a and b without repetition so the result will be r i c e n third part a intersection b the common elements among the two sets will be taken so we can see i c e is repeated in both the sets so therefore a intersection b will be equal to i c e in the fifth part we have to find a minus b that means all the elements of a which are not there in b therefore a minus b will be equal to r in the sixth part we have to find b minus a that means all the elements of set b which are not there in a therefore b minus a will be equal to n moving ahead with the verification thing i have picked c part for the verification in which we have to prove we have to verify a minus b union b minus a is equal to a union b minus a intersection b taking lhs first so we are going to find the value of a minus b union b minus a so this will be a minus b is r and b minus a is n so the union of these two sets will give us r n as the result so we have r n as the result on the left side taking rhs now where we have to find a union b minus a intersection b so putting the set a union b it is r i c e n we have to minus a intersection b from it which is i c e so if we see the elements i c e will be ignored because it is getting repeated so the result will be r n now comparing lhs and rhs we find that they come equal lhs is equal to rhs hence proved this part is also verified moving ahead with question number four again the sets are given in the set builder notation we are going to convert them in the tabular form universal set was given as x such that x belongs to whole numbers and x is less than 9 that means we are going to take all the elements from the whole numbers set which are less than 9 therefore universal set comes equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 means all the whole numbers less than 9 are taken as universal set set a is given as the factors of 6 so we know there are only four factors of 6 6 is completely divisible by only four digits so they become the factors therefore a is equal to 1 2 3 6 set b is given as factors of 8 so we will have 1 2 4 8 as elements because 8 is completely divisible by these four digits completely divisible means there will be no remainder left once you are going to divide 8 by these digits okay so these are the elements in the tabular form talking about the first part in which we have to find a complement it will be all the elements of universal set which are not there in set a so as a result we will get 0 4 5 7 8 in the second part we have to find b complement again all the elements of universal set which are not there in set p so the result will be 0 3 5 6 7 in the third part we have to find the intersection of a complement and b complement that means the common elements from these two sets so if we see the elements written before it will be 0 5 7 moving on to the fourth part where we have to find the union of a complement and b complement that means we are going to take all the elements from these two sets so the result will be 0 3 4 5 6 7 8 moving ahead with the verification questions in this particular question number four so let's do the a part where we have to prove we have to verify that the complement of a union b is equal to a complement intersection b complement taking lhs a union b complement will be the complement of all the elements in the set that means all these elements will be ignored from the universal set and the rest of the elements will be taken so from the universal set the remaining elements are 0 5 7 so the result of the left hand side that means a union b complement comes equal to 0 5 7 taking rhs now that is a complement intersection b complement which will be the common elements taken from these two sets so it will come equal to 0 5 7 now comparing lhs and rhs both the sides are equal in result so we can say lhs is equal to rhs hence proved moving ahead with question number five which happens to be the last question in this exercise there are three sets given the universal set a set a and a set b 
let us discuss first and the third part of this question remember this question is entirely for verification now when we are talking about verification questions the questions in which we have to prove things we are going to see each and every set which is required in the verification questions and it's better to write the elements of those sets first and in this way our verification solution becomes easy so we are first going to find all the required sets and in these parts before proceeding so a complement is required so a complement will be all the elements of universal set which are not there in set a so a complement comes equal to 1357 similarly i am going to find b complement which comes equal to 246 and i am going to find a complement union b complement which is all the elements taken from these two above sets so it comes equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 moving ahead with verification so i have taken the first part where we have to prove that uh, a complement is equal to b taking lhs a complement we have already found it is 1 3 5 7 taking rhs b is given to us it is 1 3 5 7 so comparing lhs and rhs they come equal lhs is equal to rhs hence proved Doing the third part of the same question, A complement union, B complement is equal to U. This is what we have to verify. Taking LHS, A complement union, B complement we have already found. It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And taking RHS, universal set is already given to us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the elements. Now comparing LHS and RHS, since they come equal, LHS is equal to RHS, hence proof. This is how you have to complete this question now after this explanation after the discussion which i have uh, done about the questions in the exercise i hope that you are able to understand that how you need to attempt the questions so i want you all to give an attempt and uh, do all these questions in your fair register so until we meet next time take care of yourself stay safe thank you